Hey, hi, happy Monday. It's Meredith. I'm here with our message for the 1st of February, 2021. Happy February. Happy Mercury retrograde. Yeah, we're there. <laughs> I know, get excited. All right, we're using the Druid Craft Tarot for our message today. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite decks right alongside Bonefire. Uh, our cards from the bottom. These represent uh, how the energy atmosphere is charged according to the tarot today. So let's take a look and see what we've got going on. <laughs> well, we're starting out with the beautiful Nine of Cups, which has been with us for a good number of days. And I love seeing this because you know that it is fulfillment. It is the reward of all the energetic investment that we put into what we hold in heart space. So here it is yet again in the reading for us and one of the intuitive feelings I've had off this card recently is or not just this card but the collective message from the cards over the past few weeks we've seen in angel answers you know perfect timing or in the next few weeks or months or whatever the timing cards are there and that's a message stating that this is an energy that's with us for a period of time it's not it's not a flash in the pan type of thing. So I like that the Nine of Cups continues to show up. We are absolutely in uh, a fulfillment phase, which is beautiful and exciting and so worthy of celebration. And, you know, we're doing, we're doing our spiritual journey work right alongside that too. Coming with our beautiful Nine of Cups is the Seven of Pentacles. And, you know... I tell you all so often, but I'm going to repeat it. This is a card that used to garner an eye roll from me. Uh, it just felt like waiting, and I don't wait well. <laughs> I know, working on it. Uh, and I switched out, you know, the feeling of waiting or being in a... I think waiting breeds some kind of frustration. And, you know, it speaks to energetic stagnation. So who really thrives in that, right? So I switched it up to allowing for myself. And, you know, there are days that goes better than others. <laughs> However, the Seven of Pentacles itself is a card of fulfillment too. It's fulfillment that isn't quite here, but we have evidence for it because we've got a fruiting vine. You know, we, we have an incoming or an oncoming harvest and we have that while we are celebrating our beautiful Nine of Cups. So all sevens in tarot, as I tell you, it's heaven touching earth within our own heart space. So while we are celebrating the rewards of our prior effort, really bringing in a manifestation harvest for ourselves as there's great fulfillment out of the Nine of Cups, we are still looking at an abundant vine, so to speak. There is fruit on the vine. There is evidence for what we continue to hold in heart space, what we continue to nurture there. So our seven is a beautiful reminder of that. And then, oh my goodness, and the sun is shining on it. What is a harvest most need but ripening? What ripens everything on the vine? Mm, yeah, brilliant clarity, sunshine, the happiest card in tarot. Yes, there's no happier card than the sun. So we have brilliant clarity, love, bliss, joy, happiness, you know, a connection to our own innocence and wonder and awe and joy. And we are in momentum with that. We are, we're definitely not uh, stagnating in any way there. So those three cards... Over this past week, week and a half, you know, the overall theme cards that come off the bottom of the deck have been super powerful to the reading. They have, they have left me feeling as if these peripheral cards are, are not necessarily needed. Like these first three pack the punch. And I feel that that's what we have going into the rest of the cards. Uh, so this is the overall theme, and then this is the, the undercurrent. <laughs> That's what I feel. Oh, yes. And here we have a Nine of Wands. Mm. This is a card that has us digging into endurance. 
that it, it indicates that there's something that's long been in a process and it may be connected in some way to that harvest that's blossoming on the seven. And so we may be having some feelings about that that require us to dig deeper into our soul, into the love that we are and the light that we are and bring that to whatever it is. You know, you can all take a look into your own world and know just exactly that one thing or those two things that have been kind of hanging out there, incomplete, unfinished, not quite fulfilled. We all know what they are. What kind of energy could you bring to that? That's what really the Nine of Wands is inviting for us. Perhaps uh, because it's long been in the process of manifestation, blossoming, becoming a reality, maybe we haven't been giving it as much energy as we could. So do consider that for yourself. And then coming with this card is the Princess of Wands. And I think that's really great advice from the cards because, you know, the Princess of Wands is the equivalent of a page and page, the Page of Wands is raw enthusiasm. And perhaps that's just what what's needed here to progress this energy because this feels mm, like it needs freshening up and the freshening up comes in the Page of Wands. So... Bring your skill, your talent, your raw enthusiasm, your optimism. You're loaded with it up here in the overall theme. So let's shine, sun, a little bit of energy on whatever this is for you. Hmm, whatever you are enduring or what has long been in a process for you. Then we have the high priest. This is the hierophant. So this is a card. It's such a loaded card in tarot. Um... It's a card that encourages us to educate ourselves, to reinvest in ourselves. It's a card that encourages us to challenge belief system and programming. What are you doing and why? And, you know, let's connect it to this nine of wands over here. What are you doing and why? And could you freshen that up a bit with some new information, some new wisdom? Hmm, perhaps. Consider that as well. And then this is also a card of commitment. So let's bring it back again to this Nine of Wands. Have you lost a commitment to something that you've long held in hard space because you've not seen any evidence for its growth? And yet it's over here blossoming on the vine and, and maybe needs a fresh infusion, Page of Wands, of energy, of passion, creative fire from you. So check your commitment to what you're holding in hard space and the things that may have gone a little bit stagnant for you. And then, yeah, there she is, Nine of Pentacles. Love her. Definitely invest in yourself. Bring your wild free spirit to the nine of wands. So there is a call here in the day for us to freshen up our energy some. <laughs> I think last week I said something about the emperor and not resting on his laurels. You know, there may be that one thing that we've got in heart space that we've just sort of allowed to coast and not really invested in. And here's the nine of pentacles. What I love so much about her, she's a self-made individual. She has it nailed down. She knows how to share generously. She's connected to those who would reciprocate. She is extremely independent and her relationships are interdependent, which is so beautiful. And the other thing that I love about her is that she does have a wild side. No one really suspects that of her because she always looks so poised and graceful, but she is the queen of wands underneath and not too far underneath the surface either. So yeah, jazz it up. Jazz up your energy now. You pull down this energy of the sun, this brilliant clarity and all this happiness and shine it into some of the shadowy things that, we, that you've not uh, given much attention to. Dust off the cobwebs, bring out the stuff that you really do want to have fulfillment and manifestation with because we're in a beautiful atmosphere for it. Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Sun. Bring it out. And then we have... <laughs> oh, gosh. What did I say earlier? We have an undercurrent. And here's the Death card. Oh, oh, but the Death card doesn't come alone. He's bringing the devil with him, too. <laughs> Not the first time we've seen this alignment recently either, but I love this alignment because I really feel like it's a message to that says uh, this is the death to self-sabotage. 
And that may be what's going on over here with the Nine of Wands. By not investing energy in something that we've long held in hard space that we do see growing on the vine, we're creating uh, sabotage here. We're not allowing... <laughs> Seven. We're not allowing the sun to touch this for whatever reason. And, you know, that's a challenge to yourself. And the high priest is here to help you see, see that challenge, recognize it, and then freshen up the energy. Page of Wands and bring your wild, creative, fiery, nine of pentacles, super independent, interdependent self to it. And bring this this feeling of endurance to an end so that you can have a fresh start, a fresh beginning. So what I'm sensing here is there's an inner dialogue that is an old tape loop. And <laughs> I don't know where I heard this recently, but oh my gosh, you got my funny bone. Whatever this self-sabotage is, it's like the gerbil on the wheel. The wheel's still spinning, but the gerbil is dead. <laughs> Right? Oh my gosh, that just gets me. Anyway, yeah, put an end to that. Freshen up the energy. You know, put it, put all that to rest. So there's some sort of tape loop. It's not serving you. It's old inner dialogue that is, that is sabotage. It is an ego vulture thought. And those vulture thoughts really are looking for transformation and love. And the death card is here to help us do that. You know that the death card is one of those that sweeps the foundation of all the stuff we no longer require. And we saw this last week. We saw it with the High Priestess. They came into a reading together again. And so there's one other piece to this. And I feel it's connected to the message of living comfortably with something that's non-functional. Mm. That, that isn't growing. Don't invest in something that isn't growing. Invest in what is growing. So sometimes we get comfortable standing like a sentinel at the at the you know the gateway to the manifestation of what we hold in heart space. But when we don't contribute enough energy and bring the light, bring the love, sun, nine of cups, how can that grow? And there may be some old way of thinking that the high priest is going to help us see, feel, know, and understand today so that we recognize we, where we are sabotaging ourselves. And as soon as we do, the death card is there to sweep it away. Isn't that beautiful? I really do feel that the sun is in great alignment with the whole reading and most especially in great alignment with the nine of pentacles. It's really telling us we have the tools required to do the work, to do the spiritual journey work, to put an end to whatever is stagnating over here on the Nine of War Wands that we feel that we have to endure. Mm. Endure can sometimes suggest suffering and suffering can come from the way we think and feel. And the High Priest is here to point that out to us. We're going to see it in brilliant clarity with the sun shining on it because we're in this beautiful atmosphere of Nine of Cups. There's lots of overflowing blessings in the world. So not only do we have everything we require within us, the universe is abundantly providing as well. And this isn't anything to judge. This is whatever this nine is, whatever this tape loop is, whatever whatever's on your gerbil wheel, <laughs> alive or not, uh, we're, we can just bring our compassion to it. Our unconditional loving compassion. That's part of the reason the Nine of Pentacles is here in the reading. Because she's just the kind of individual who has learned how to master that sort of thing. So non-judgment. All parts welcome. See it for what it is. Recognize it. Bring the love, the light to it. And upgrade the energy. Page of Wands. Just upgrade it. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Alright everybody. Let's move on to Angel Answers. Let them answer a question for you if you have one related or not. Be a fresh message or confirmation of something. First card falling out of the deck. Romance. Mm. I love this. You know, bring the love. Bring the light. Romance the very things that you hold in heart space, right? The sun is here to provide 
the kind of momentum that is required to do this this upgrade energy and a retrograde is a beautiful time uh, to take a look back and see what it is devil card <laughs> that needs a little romancing so bring the love to yourself and bring the love to your nine of wands experience whatever it is you're enduring or that you have not been contributing to that really does require your love and light next <sighs> yeah the weight card what were we talking about on the seven of pentacles wait i always change this one to allow because that's really what it is there's uh there's divine order divine alignment we are in harmony with it so just allow for that to unfold and allow for the signs and the symbols that show up in your everyday life to direct you to guide you to speak to you intuitively so you can see whatever it is over here that the death card is ready to wipe out <laughs> and take action with that i love this weight but take action allowing is taking an action you are still participating you are still contributing and coming from a peaceful centered place uh will have you deeply engaged in your intuitive wisdom and that will answer for you whatever your nine of wands is and whatever your devil card is. And it will also allow for the action on the death card to take place, which is a simultaneous ending and beginning. It'll make way for what's blossoming here on the seven. And for those of you inclined to, there is no need to worry. <laughs> this is all taking care of itself. It just needs a little uh, energy infusion from you. All right, let's do... The spirit junkie cards for our affirmation today I think it's this one. Oh, huh that's the one we had the other day Friday the weekend one so no repeats we'll get a fresh one that's also from last week oh my goodness <laughs> well I'll keep shuffling <laughs> okay Oh, very nice. Ooh. I'm going to take these two. <laughs> the first is, it's safe to slow down, relax, and let go. Mm -hmm. That is participation. That is a contribution. Sometimes we got to get out of our own way so the universe can deliver. And look at this. we got a little more sunshine coming in. The more I honor my inner light, the more I brighten the world. I choose to shine. <laughs> so perfect. I love these decks. They really are so great at confirming our tarot message. Thank you for watching, everyone. Happy Monday, happy February, and happy retrograde. Make the most of it. Peace, love, joy, blessings to each and every one of you. Namaste. Bye for now.